They may take our lives, but they'll never take our Xenos. Today we're taking a look at High Toys Exquisite Minis, Alien vs. Predator, Celtic Predator. Welcome back. Now before we take a look at the Celtic Predator and his packaging, a question for you down in the comments. What other property would you like to see the Predators cross over with? I'd love to see Predator vs. Terminator. Predators land on Earth. After Skynet has taken over, we've got plasma casters versus phased plasma rifles. I think that'd be awesome. But what about you? So, uh, looking at the Celtic Predator and his packaging, your normal Hayatoy style packaging here. Predator on one side, alien on the other. On the back, a couple pictures of the figure itself, plus some information from Hayatoy's. So let's get him out of the packaging and see how he looks. So with the Celtic Predator out of his packaging, we'll go ahead and start by measuring him up. Like with the, uh, a lot of the other Predator figures, he stands 4 and 3 quarter inches, or just under 12 centimeters. So putting the Celtic Predator to the side, we'll take a look at his accessories. He comes with your usual Hayatoy stand, peg hole there, a great design. These little slots on the bottom, you can take these two included brackets, flip them onto the side, and then attach it to another similar base. He also comes with two versions of his spear. We get the collapsed version and the fully extended here. In addition to the hands that he come on the body, we also get a bright loose uh, gripping hand and a splayed open left hand and you get his bladed weapon here this doesn't collapse it's fully extended like that just like the one that came with uh, some of the other predators from the AVP line that I reviewed and attached to the figure itself we have this knife, which does come out of his boot. Giving him even more accessories. So turning to the Chopper Predator himself, I know this is a favorite Predator for a lot of people from the film. And it is a very cool design. Again, a very bulky looking Predator compared to the ones from Predator 1 two and uh, even predators uh, i do prefer the slimmer ones but i do think the uh, predator alien versus predator ones are still pretty cool too and kind of a the mask kind of reminds me of uh, darth vader in a way i don't know if anybody else sees that but i like that you have his bone necklace here different uh, creatures that he's killed his dreadlocks very black with the gold beads in there. Let's move along his, the back. We've got his predator uh, uh, pouch here that he has to carry everything. There's no plasma caster on this one. Again, you know, part of the uh, ritual that they go through in the film is to retrieve the plasma caster. So there's only one in the film. This guy unfortunately does not make it and does not get it. We have his wrist computer here. It doesn't open or anything like that, but you can see very nicely detailed. And he has his uh, blades on his right arm here. They're fully extended. And they do go in a little bit. The AVP Predators had them out uh, more than uh, some of the other Predators. All of his armor is done in a really nice metallic uh, gunmetal silver. It looks fantastic in person here. Really does look like metal. His uh, loincloth, also a metal, or uh, excuse me, a rubber, but looks like a, a metal. As we go down, I want to point out that the uh, fishnets on the Predator are sculpted on. As you can see, the paint is very, very clean on them. 
Very impressive paint job. Move down. He's got his armored toes there. Good for kicking xenomorphs. With the claws on the back. And peg holes on the bottom to use with the stand. So very cool looking predator, very imposing. Uh, this is definitely one guy you do not want to meet in a dark temple in the Arctic at night. Moving on to articulation for the Celtic predator. The head is on a ball joint. You can look up just a little bit. Look down just a little bit. Uh, not much in the way of side to side, but he does have the full 360 degree rotation. Just be aware of the dreadlocks. The uh, dreadlocks are probably what are hindering his uh, articulation going up and down. But you can see there is a little bit. The arm can go pretty high. This uh, piece of armor just kind of moves up and out of the way. And it will rotate all the way around. Again, be aware of this armor. Do not uh, damage it if you do rotate it around. For the elbow, you do have a bit of a double bend there. Not too bad. There is a swivel at the bicep. The gauntlet does turn just a little bit, and the gauntlet itself does uh, swivel around. And the hands, of course, are on a ball plate. For ab crunch, that's as far, well, he does go a little bit back, just a bit. He does have the armor on the back, so that will uh, be a problem for the articulation. Just go forward just a little bit. Again, these are very bulky guys, so there's not much you can do about that. A few legs have a really nice spread on them. You can kick back like that, so not too much. But it does kick forward very well. You do have the double bend knee. You get nice detail on that knee, given that so much of it is uh, hidden. The ankles do turn a little bit. Well, yeah, they do turn all the way. They're just a little stiff. There is a slight, very, very slight hinge there. They do not rock back and forth. So uh, not the most maneuverable predators, but again, given his bulk and the armor and all of the uh, thick hair and everything, I don't think there is a whole lot you can really do with it. I don't think the suits in the film were too uh, maneuverable either. I think some of the more uh, dynamic poses that they achieved in the film are done with CGI and uh, cheating some of the armor, taking pieces off and things like that. So still not too bad. And one last comparison, here he is next to the Hayatoi's uh, Aliens vs. Predator Alien Warrior. So you can see how they stack up. The alien is well, just a little bit taller, which I think is appropriate for the film. So overall, a really nice looking predator. Uh, very intimidating and uh, bulky. This is definitely one of the Arnold Schwarzenegger type predators here. He definitely hits the gym. Uh, and even though it's not my favorite film and not my favorite predator design, I do still think it is a, a very good addition to the predator collection and uh, certainly a very well done figure on high toys part. Uh, the issues I have with the design come from the film itself and not the figure. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye. <music>